Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beat-up plan, and yes, we are reuniting the Imperial Russian titles, and as you can see, one of our little rebels is already surrendering. <laughs> we accept this, we take him in prison, and we will take back our titles. Moreover, interesting enough, Poland went again with an Orthodox king, but now the, their Duke of Kuyavia, Ku, Ku, how do you pronounce names, has turned back to the Slavic faith. I don't think Poland has a little bit of a problem deciding what they actually want. Well, let's see what we can get from this man. Revoke title, you are... You're a traitor, so we revoke Gaelic. Tittle Bluff, people don't want me to do, but I have a claim on this, so I can also claim that already. That is two lands that I will claim from him. And later on, I will put him under a Duke of Gaelic, and then I will give up this little land here. But this way I have gained more lands back. Perhaps I will just keep him in prison and take back lands later as I see fit, because I want these lands back. Who is your heir, anyways? Who is your heir? That's the King of Rust. That's not very helpful. Well, I guess I'm just going to revoke it straight away then. Let people be annoyed, but I just defeated. Why can I not do this? Must have a reason for during a truce. You bastards! That is really annoying! That is really annoying. Oh, why did I attack? Well, let's go and find nonetheless. Good. Hmm. How to make sure that we... Uh, well, we're getting a, a significant bonus from defeating all these major revolts, so I am going to revoke more lands than I normally am allowed, but apparently I can't revoke them just right now. Hmm. By the way, you, can I grant you the kingdom of Volga Bulgaria? Yes, I can. We'll do that after the peace. Oh, he gave, he is giving up. Perfect. It's over. Thank you so much. I want from you, for your treason, Petoslav, for my claim, Bryansk. That, at least, makes you quite a bit smaller, and I will revoke more, but I can't right now. Hmm, let's see, what is now Imperial Russia, this little land? Yes, I really want these lands as well. I don't mind losing Gaelic, but I do want these two lands. Keeping the duchies a little bit more in order, but... Mm. Let's first see... The, let's first uh, get things organized. Alright, Kingdom of Rus. I will transfer to you the vassalage of this man. Now, Rus is complete again. Very good, very good. Then, to this young man, who was a son of the Emperor, I will grant the land the title of Kingdom of Volga Bulgaria. So if I land this to you, and I will transfer vassalage of everyone that's supposed to be in that area. Um, which is, for instance, the Duke of Chermiza. Thank you very much. Uh, Hlinov was mentioned, but I... Yeah, that's over there. Okay, that's good. Transfer of Vasalich of Hilinov goes to you as well. Uh, Mari should go to you. No, not Grand Lendl title. I mean to give you Mari. Thank you. I think it is cert. Yes, transfer of Vasalich. Most of the time they're on top and the game does it correctly, but I still want to make sure of this. Quasan. Okay, let's see here. Volga Bulgaria is complete. 
Very good, very good. And it's under a former son of the Emperor. I don't mind that at all. I think that's very good. Who released you? Why is Terablov released? Did I by accident hit the button to release him? I might have, because I thought I was giving away Gaelic. That might have been a little mistake here. Alright, this son. I really don't want this son to win anything, but I am going to give him already land. Mm. This is all mine? No, only these two, right? Yes, and these are two are wrong counties, so... Uh, let me make sure... You are dead, yes, but here you stand still alive. You were dead, I know that for sure already. Game, you do not update this character finder very properly, I must say. Uh, just grant the lead titles to people, it's not going to be my problem anymore. It's going to go to Belgorod, and I will give you... Is that the proper man, by the way, before I now give it to a wrong person? And you don't have a lot of stewardship, I don't like that. Let's just give it to this guy. Olvia! There you go. I grant you the landed title of Moldau. There you go, my son. You already have lands. Moreover, if I look at you correctly... Yes, because the titles were created anyways, I grant you the Kingdom of Wallachia. Voila, and I transfer to you the Vasalage. You are a king now, yes, thank you very much, game. Of Galaz. So, we now have the King of Wallachia, of Krim. We have Volga Bulgaria, Ross and Perm. The lands here are pretty normal, I would say. Um, I don't want these lands actually, but yeah. Hmm. How are we going to do it? We also lost Severia, but mm, we're going to lose something. After all, we're under Gavelkind. You're going to lose lands. But I would like to keep the Russian Imperial titles in this area. I'm not allowed to do anything about that. Nope. Cannot revoke them. And I'm not sure if the bonus will last long enough from defeating these rebels in order to uh, take them away later. Well, first of all, let's gain... put some people in proper spots. Which means, in this case, to uh, have a council that is worthy of mentioning being able to spy for me, talk to people and say, Hey, why don't you like the Emperor? Like him more? Or to uh, perhaps change the culture of lands. We cannot even, we don't even need that anymore. Then build prestige, in this case. Uh, give me some more troops. And you are already talking to someone, so probably somebody that already didn't like me. Alright, we have uh, gained a sliver back of the Imperial titles. And this is already our third Emperor, and two of his sons now have Kingdom titles. And his main sons I have revoked a lot of, because, well, I'm sorry about that land belongs to the Emperor. It is that simple. I think it's time to just wait until these truces are up. And they are up in 10 years from now. Oof. I'm not sure if I will live that long. But that is something we can find out together. And uh, why do I say that I don't think I might live that long? Well, this man over here, the current emperor, Sudislav, is not strong, for instance. Can I, by the way, change your focus? Yes, we're going to change to Marshal. Perhaps we can get strong. King has usurped the title of... 
Apparently by demand the king of Volga Bulgaria and also the king of the Krim. Yep. That was not what I wanted. Oh well, well. can I educate you perhaps? See if I can give you... Yeah, I can. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps it will be King Emperor Lev in due time. For now, it is just a little waiting game. Because I'm not uh, going to sick my man on anything else. We just need to have a little bit of wait. Oh my... Has declared Wallachian revolt for Chief Sudislav's claim. Why does everybody want this man on the throne? He is not very good. He is craven. He... This is... Uh. And he will win. I can already see that in troops. Unless my son calls in help, he will win. That is... Unfortunate. I hate... Voking. Well, I can revoke the kingdom title just just as hard again, and I will, because I am no desire to have a man have a little piece of Rostov within the trades, uh, within have Rostov and two uh, another county that lie in Rus be the king of Wallachia down here, and I don't like him. Why don't I like him? Well, I will show you in a moment when I keep this information to myself. People like this man a lot simply because he's strong. But he's craven. And he might be diligent, yes, that's true. But he doesn't have very good stats. I don't understand it. This is really... It's, it's just wrong. Oh. Oh, how annoying. How annoying. Interesting enough. Oh no, they get the prince title because he is now currently a king. I uh, was looking at them because their clothing have changed as if they were princes. So I thought almost they had might have married into a royal house, but that's not the case. Their father is currently considered a king. Hence, their clothing changes. Interesting, this man is independent. Would you join me, of vassalization? No, you wouldn't. How far are you off? Uh, quite a bit. Because it would look nice here for the borders. That's why I was looking at it. Heir to the Kingdom of Alania, yes, but what will I lose? Title loss, Kingdom of Alania. Is Kingdom of Alania not... No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, no family member lives here, so I cannot give it away to a family member. But this type of war for everybody claims, it will lessen quite a bit after a while. Why is... Who is are you? Krivia. Krivia has been called into the war. On the defending side or the attacking side? Defending side, I can already see. He's going for Galaz. That is quite good, actually. I wish my son would move around. No, oh dear. People are trying to kill my... Kill me and my lunatic, but genius concubine is pregnant. Oh, that could be so good. We could use a genius son. And who will I play as? I will play as a king who has a... Ah, son of a concubine, but nothing more than that. I will play as this guy. Uh, the traits are on that. Great, but he has a lot of prestige, so hence people want him. And who are you? You are the guy that is constantly people are fighting for, but has no clear reason to be on top. Oh well, oh well. Well, 
with this oh no what are you doing you crossed a major river while you were sieging Ugh, wait no what we'll watch out how this battle plays and that when the, we know the end result of this revolt i did not click on the army i want to click on the battle but never mind probably can see that then we at least know how and what will happen in the south of the empire of russia Oh, yeah, that terrain bonus, dude, that is painful, but you're seeming to win this. Indeed, my son will stay as the king of Wallachia, and with that, I thank you for watching. This was the Peter Plan.